Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making some mini farmhouse tiered tray gnomes. They are magnetic, they are no sew, and if you would like to make them with me, just stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here. Now, speaking of being here with me, do join the Facebook group. I'll put that link below. And for this pattern, you can find it below as well. All right, to get started, we're going to be using faux fur, some cotton fabrics, felt fabrics, nude color for our noses in felt, and these very strong magnets. We're gonna start out by printing off the pattern. Again, you can sew this pattern or use a no-sew method, which I'm gonna show here. So I'm just cutting out two bases for each gnome, two noses, uh, and two sets of hats. So I'm cutting a black set of hats. I just stacked the uh, fabric on top of each other, front sides together, or right sides together. So the only tricky part about this mini pattern is that it is so small and so what we're going to do is just do that hook first using a very thin bead of hot glue on the very tip, pushing out that tip first and then folding it in right sides of that felt together again and then completing the entire glue set for the base. You will have to leave a couple of sections open as the pattern calls out. But once you get these bodies glued together, we're then going to attach them to the base. Now you can see the base is a little big and that is designed that way. We're going to be stretching the two tips the, of the front and the back and then we're going to attach each side. Again, you're pulling it apart. It's gonna create a nice little oval at the bottom. It was just way easier to create this circle and then cut it off after the glue has dried. And then we're going to do that here. So as you all know, I do test these patterns a lot to make sure that I get you the most easy way of doing something. And I can assure you, this is it. So when you go ahead to turn it out in, or no, outsides right, right sides out, goodness gracious, just be sure not to poke a hole in anything. I do recommend using an eraser instead of that very thin bamboo skewer. All right, so here I'm going to add a little bit of weight with some poly pellets. And before stuffing, I use the poly fill. But I'm only going to stuff the bottom first. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we are going to put a bit of structure in here, which makes these things come together oh so much easier. When you're dealing on a really, really small scale, it's all about ease. And we're going to take a pipe cleaner or a chenille stem. We're going to cut it in half and fold down the edges so it doesn't poke through. And then we're going to put that into the tip of the hat all the way down that what I'm calling the spine and then finish stuffing with our polyfill. Once you have it rightly stuffed, which means you can squeeze it and it bounces back, it holds its shape, you're just going to fold over one part of this felt and glue it to the pipe cleaner. So that will hold that pipe cleaner in place no matter how many times you just stop by and play with these things. All right, so then we're just gonna tuck in this little edge that's open and just hot glue it. Maybe use finger guards because I did burn myself right there. There you go. But what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the glue out so that I can cut it off. There you go. So when it comes out, it just comes out in a flat line. And that just creates a really solid, secure seal. Now we're just going to repeat this little hook part just for the hat. So you can see the hat is a little bit more generous, so the turn is a lot easier than it is on the body. And you're using a cotton fabric as well, which makes it a little easier to turn than felt. I've done this now many, many times using this same pattern with all different types of material. It is so small, I don't recommend using fleece, but everything else works pretty well. If you're gonna use a jean, do use a very light jean, so more of a linen type jean material than true blue jean. All right, so very much like the body, all we're going to do is flip that hat hook inside when we put the right sides back together and then follow our pattern all the way. You are going to hem this because it's cotton. You could also pinking shear uh, cut it or whatever you'd like. All right, so after you turn it out, right sides out, I'm gonna get that right one day, you're just gonna hook uh, or slide the hat hook over the body hook and biggity bam, it's time to move on. Speaking of moving on, I used the pantyhose method to cover this magnet before, but a lot of you asked about felt. So I'm using felt in this one. Go get those finger guards, you're gonna need it. The circles you've cut are wider than your magnet. And so what you've done is then 
tab cut all the way around your felt circle and you're just going to be pushing each tab into the magnet. Now at the very end I do recommend you cutting off any excess or anything poking out the sides. Um, this works really well but it's a little harder to get flat. So you can see right there you can see two little sides poking out. So I just cut that one off, press the other down and it's flat. I cut out my beard. If you are new to cutting faux fur, I have a video tutorial for that. I will link above. And then all we're going to do is just glue our beard in place. Now the pattern will tell you uh, where to put the beard and nose. And the reason is, is because these are designed to come very close together. They're kissing gnomes. And so we wanna make sure that we do place this per the pattern. Once you have that, you're gonna split the beard all the way to the fabric backing, attach your nose, holding it really well until that glue sets, adding a tiny little bit of hot glue at the top of the nose and securing the front of the hat before pulling the back down and securing it back. Easy peasy, right? You're just gonna repeat all of this for the second gnome, uh, which I am calling the girl gnome. And I'm going to very quickly go through this because no one wants to see the exact same thing over and over. I do think she's really cute, and I will tell you that the braids were way too small to, um, or I'm sorry, the hair, the faux fur was very small uh, and hard to braid. And so what I did is I ended up just tying little pigtails um, in order to give it a little, you know, a little extra, because we gotta be extra around here. So you can see here this very fuzzy yellow fur, and I'm just going to size it, and then tie it with embroidery thread. So it hides that fabric backing, there you go, I glue it together, and then we're just going to tie it up into little, I don't know, for the lack of letter word, little balls. <laughs> You'll see it here in a second. I like that it gives it something, but braiding was just out of the question. So there you can see, and now that I have them all divided out, I'm just gonna tuck them up under and I'm done. Look at these two, they're in love. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, thank you for being here. Like and subscribe for more crafty fun.